So we're gonna do a good old fashioned clean with me video because oh boy, do I need to do that. <laughs> January 2020, that was a whole year ago. Nope. You know what this reminds me of? You know that picture on the internet that's like a bunch of stuff but you actually can't tell what any of it is? I feel like this is it, like what is all of this? Hello guys, it's been a while, hasn't it? Welcome back to the vlog channel. Thank you for being here today. Today I was thinking about what I wanted to do and what I wanted to film and I just, I wanna do something chill and like talky and just relaxing. So we're gonna do a good old fashioned clean with me video because oh boy do I need to do that. And I like these kind of videos, I think they're fun to watch and they really help me <laughs> to get in the mood to clean my space. So hopefully this does the same for you too. It's the literal reason why I'm filming in front of my awfully messy background where I'm gonna show it to you in the state that it's in and we're gonna clean it up together. Yeah, I did I did some, I put some pomade in the bangs this morning, some little wispies. Still trying to figure out what to do with them and if I like them, but I feel like this is fun. This feels very like, um, who has bangs like this? Farrah Fawcett, maybe? I don't know. They're fun. Also, I have to cut them like all the time. I don't know, the rest of my hair never seems to grow, but these in like the, how long has it been? Month and a bit that I've had them? I'm always trimming them. <laughs> the upkeep is just insane. But you know what? That's actually nice because if I ever make a mistake or I don't like how I cut them, like wait a week and it's done, it's fixed. <laughs> Let's just you know, jump right into it and let me show you the space that we're gonna be tackling. I think this will be fun too because I have not only like a visible space that we wanna obviously clean up, but I have a thing of drawers that are like I guess you could say the junk drawers in the house, even though I don't really feel like I have one, I definitely have one. It's fun to see what crap people have in their drawers and what they hold on to. So you're get, you, we're gonna see that together. Okay, let's go. So, hello, welcome. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? You know that picture on the internet that's like a bunch of stuff, but you actually can't tell what any of it is? I feel like this is it. Like, what is all of this? It's just such a random assortment of items from different things. So I gotta clear off this table because I like to use this as a working slash dining table and it's just not working right now. This is a back storage closet that the door doesn't close anymore because there's stuff falling out of it. We gotta deal with that. This is what I was talking about when I said my <laughs> quote unquote junk drawer area. This storage drawer thing has so much stuff in it that the doors don't wanna close anymore so we have to deal with that. So really, instead of a clean my house with me, it's a clean this corner of my house with me because this is where all the junk ends up. The rest of the house is pretty clean but everything that doesn't have a place just ends up here or has ended up here over the holidays. Um, yeah, I still have my tree up. It is, what's the date today? It is Monday, January 18th, 2021. Yeah, it's 18 days into the new year and I still have my tree up. Um, I'm, that's gonna be a this weekend thing I'm gonna tackle, yeah. <laughs> cool, and then you might be wondering what's going on down here. Well, this is my coffee table that I did have in my living room, but since working from home more, We've needed the old one, which has like a desktop. It's been more functional. So this is kind of in pieces here. I have a thought for where I want it to go, but it's really, really heavy and I'm home alone today. So it might end up staying here for the duration of the video, but trust me, everything else is gonna get fixed. Okay, where do I want to start? Where do I want to start? Um, hmm, I'm overwhelmed already. Okay, let's start with this kind of drawer unit under the computer because this is the thing that's been on my list of things to declutter for the longest. So this is an Ikea unit. I think it's called the Alex, maybe. And I really like it and I've had it for many, many years and it's held up great. So originally I put these kind of, um, what are these labels called? Um, I'm blanking so hard. These labels. <laughs> We're off to a very good start, friends. So originally I had put all these labels to kind of like denote the different categories of things in these drawers and it's all pretty accurate. It's just the fact that each one of these drawers has gotten so full of the things that I said would be in it according to the label that they're too full. It's just becoming useless. And I don't wanna own more things than what fits in here because that just feels like you have too much stuff. I love a good storage solution, I really do, but when you are coming up with more storage solutions just to put your stuff in, it's a problem. You have to clean out your stuff first and then then you might actually not need more storage, so. This is a literal slipper. What, what are you doing? Okay, this is the paperwork drawer. And the label actually is kind of irrelevant now because I've since grown up and become an adult and moved on to owning a filing cabinet, which is in that back closet that we'll deal with later. So in theory, excuse me, email. In theory, any paperwork of importance that I actually need that we find in here 
should not go in here and should go in the filing cabinet. So let's dive right in. And if I had to say that somewhere in my house I have a junk drawer, this top one would be it because this is the random crap drawer. Everything else sort of has a category. I mean, this category was supposed to be paperwork and I don't these are the plastic letters from a letter board that I have in my basement, so I already don't know where these should go. Off to a good start. <laughs> this is the calendar that you get every year in um, Ontario, Toronto, that tells you what day of the week your garbage pickup is on, but this is the 2021, so we don't need her. 2021, we should keep. That one can go in recycling. <laughs> Do you remember these? These bags were like quite the trend four years ago maybe, five years ago, Le Sac en Papier. We even DIY'd ourselves one and I still have a couple of these. They came in like a multi-pack. I don't know what to do with them. Maybe I can sell them. Yeah, I got two more and they are taking up so much space in here. Very cute though, I still do like them. These are literal addresses written out on paper from when I had to do wedding invitations. How many years ago is that? These are probably useful to have, but what I think I'm gonna do is just take a photo of them and save it on my computer. This is something I learned from Rachel Ost literally years ago. She was, I say was, but is one of my favorite YouTubers and she does a whole bunch of stuff on like minimalism and how to keep your life organized. And she doesn't keep paper records of anything. She just takes pictures of everything and puts it on a computer, which is very smart. So that's what I'm gonna do. Cool, that can be recycled. Love getting things out of the drawer. Are you even a, a DIYer if you don't have paint samples lying around? Any shade of white you want, I got it. You know what, I kept this convincing myself that you know if I ever wanted to know if I liked a certain color, I would have it, but this is just taking up space in my life and I pretty much have it sorted that I use one color of white in my house, so I don't need these anymore. Oh, it's a nice birthday card, but my birthday was over half a year ago, is that how birthdays work? So this is an uncomfortable, like this is too tall, this is too short, maybe I'll just be short. <laughs> what do you guys do with cards? Do you hold on to them? Is there like a certain time that you need to hold on to them before you don't need to anymore? I keep them around for a little bit and then once it feels like it's been enough time past the event, I get rid of them. It always feels a bit weird. These are tickets to the theater that I got for Christmas, but we can't go to the theater. But I don't think these expire. I think that's a thing that like, they literally have an expiry date on them for January, 2020. That was a whole year ago. So, nope. <laughs> this is a good one. This is a card that says, the best age is when you like naps and are able to take naps. I agree. This is a funny one. I'm gonna keep this just because it's hilarious and could be good, good art. So I'm making a pile of things to keep to go back in the drawer and then things to recycle and or put in another place. This is one of the best purchases I ever invested in and it is the little eraser tips that go on the end of pencils because I am always using a pencil to measure and DIY with and the little erasers that come on the back of the pencils always get like worn away way before you use the pencil up and having an eraser on its own always gets lost and you never have it when you need it so these you just stick on the back of your pencil and you always have an eraser and they're so much better than the pink erasers that don't work. They're so worth it. <laughs> it's the little things, man. I should do a video on like little things that have changed my life and eraser tips would be one of them. <laughs> this is my passport and should probably be somewhere a little more important than the junk drawer. These are little bags that jewelry came in and I don't know why I felt the need to keep them. I saw this TikTok that was like, millennials get excited over a really good box. And I so connect to that. I get excited over a good box, a good reusable bag. Am I gonna use these? No, no, of course not. Another one, of course not. Um, This is always fun when you find keys that you don't know what they go to. Mm. The mystery. Do I keep them? Oh, more keys. I don't I don't know what these go to. I legitimately don't know. I feel obligated to keep them because what if one day I find the door they go to and I'm like, ah, how do I get in? Another keychain with my initial. This was a thing. Okay, this one's cute. <laughs> this is one of the, the first things that Austin ever made me when we were dating, and it's a guitar pick on a keychain, and it says I pick you, and he made this for me and gave it to me because it's a pick and I pick you. Well, I have to, I have to keep that. Come on. Do you want to know how many USB sticks are in here? 
I have four in my hand right now, and I bet there's more in here. When's the last time I used a USB stick for anything? What's on them? I mean, that's another video on its own, but I, I don't know. I'm making really good progress on this drawer. There's not much left in it. I mean, there is, but it's all little things like a ton of colored pencils that just need to be sorted better. And I'm gonna clear this drawer out. We can move on to the next one. Okay, check this out. I opened a box and cut it down to the size of the drawer so all my pencils and pens and stuff could go in there. These candles actually were just floating out and had no space to go, but now that I've freed up so much space, they can go in here, which is perfect. And this is the last of the few miscellaneous things that I need to keep, like, I don't know, office clips and what else stamps for the very few times in my life that i write a letter yes i'm aware that wallflowers aren't the best but i so very rarely use them so i'm just gonna keep them in here for now and look at this the most exciting part this drawer closes <laughs> no problem cool great love it let's move on exciting development we're now at a drawer that i can sit comfortably on the floor and talk to you guys Okay, next down we have the Austin drawer. I was very creative when I named this one. I just labeled it Austin, and it's all of the things that are specifically Austin. I'm not gonna go through this and declutter it because it's not really my things to say whether to keep or not. If you're curious what goes in the Austin drawer, we have things like the hand workout, Fender guitar string replacements, night vision goggles for when those are necessary. Honestly, if this drawer closes and everything is in here kind of nice enough, it's good enough for me, so. Next up, we have tools. Now, th these drawers are what's gonna for sure be the problem child because there's just so much random stuff in here that I don't know what to keep. Well, I mean, okay. First of all, we have an empty container of what used to be command strips. That is an obvious recycle. A giant pack of nails and a pack of picture hanging screws, both of which are important to keep. I actually have two of the same picture hanging pack, so this is an easy, Consolidate and make it one. The thing that causes the most amount of space clutter is boxes of screws because there's like two in here, but the box is huge, so we need to not. So I think I'm gonna take everything that's in a box, take it all out, and put it in one container. Is that going to be a nightmare in the future when I need to know the sizes of things? Maybe. And I always go back and forth in my head about this because it's a question about, you know, sustainability too. Like, should you hold on to things in case you need them down the road so that you don't have to purchase them again? But then it's that that balance of like holding on to things and never using them and becoming like a cluttered mess. <laughs> and I don't always know what the right answer is. So if you guys have any method that you've come up with in your kind of life for how you decipher what's worth keeping and what's not worth keeping, um, please drop it in the comments below because any insight would really help me. I actually, I should look up this quote because I feel like I saw a really great piece of advice a while back that was like, if it's easy to replace and under 20 bucks or something, don't keep it. I forget how the actual saying went, but yeah, if you have any other wise thoughts like that, let me know. So much of this is just such mis miscellaneous like items. Like this is a bracket. Can I foresee myself using that? No, but I don't know. This ribbon is actually for my wedding. I knew that I wanted to like incorporate kind of this, whatever you call this color, like beigey tones into the, the whiteness of my wedding. So I went to like downtown Toronto to like a fabric store and like I found this, I loved the color and I was like, I need to use this. So I just bought the entire spool of it and I used it, it was like the tie around my dress. Um, I think I used it in some decor stuff. Maybe it went around flowers, flower bouquets, I think also potentially. So this I wanna keep for sure. I have a lot of it though. So maybe I should start using it in places but I definitely need to keep this cause it's sentimental. All of these, okay, these are a good story too. These are some like vintage glass door handles and our friend Quickend here on YouTube sent us this really fun package in the mail like a while ago, a couple years ago I think, and sent us some like really nice gifts of things she thought we would like and I love them. I just still haven't found the perfect place to put them but I'm holding on to them because they're so special and like I will eventually find the right place for them. Okay, feeling so much better about this drawer. Yes, it's still like a really random assortment of things, but it's like one layer of that. Everything is grouped together nicely. So like, this is all of the random screws. This is all of the random wall plugs. This is all of the random nails. So yeah, it's really easy to just like quickly open this, see exactly what I need, grab it. And best part is that it closes, but it takes this drawer with it, which means we have to do this one next. How do I even open this one? 
Okay, this is the electronics drawer. And again, I feel like this is gonna be a source of a lot of boxes for things that we don't need to keep. So let's get to it. First thing in the top are my really nice wireless over ear headphones. These are the things that do not fit in there well. They're always getting stuck. But I think if we clear this out, they will lie in there a little better. This is a ring light, which um, came with the tripod that I'm using now. The tripod is great, but honestly, this ring light, I've had problems with it since I got it. It doesn't really stay on for more than like, 30 seconds and then it shuts off and I don't know why. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. This is a cord for my Google Home, um, which this was the fun hack in my bathroom. I bought, I'll insert a picture of it here. There's a mount you can buy that you can plug your Google Home Mini into a outlet so that it stays on a wall instead of on a surface. And then with that comes like a really short cord for it so you don't need the big long one. But this is something I will hold on to just because what if I don't want it in that one day and I wanna put it back on like a table or something and need the cord. But I do have, as you will see, a designated drawer for cords and that's probably where this should go. I got this drawer open and then I closed it and now it won't open again. This is a box for my Fitbit, which I love, and I don't need to keep this box. I have in my um, filing cabinet, I have a file for like manuals and stuff that things come with, like informational things and warranties that you should probably hold on to, probably. I'm gonna take the little manual out of this box and put it in that file, so then I don't need this whole entire box. I feel pretty good about getting rid of like almost all of my boxes for things. The, the only thing I don't know if I should keep are things for Apple products because those I feel like you can resell and maybe it's valuable to keep the box for them. As I'm saying it, I know I sound ridiculous and it's like, don't keep the box. Don't, don't keep the box. But then this little tiny voice in my soul is like, keep the box, never know, keep the box. Maybe I'll keep the boxes for the Apple stuff because that's nice. Another thing I have too many of is um, portable phone charging packs. And do you know what I never have with me ever in any purse I bring anywhere is a portable phone charger. So why I have like four of them and don't bring them anywhere is beyond me. So I'm gonna keep one, just one, and I'm gonna charge it and I'm gonna put it in my bag. Another one in a box. Don't need them, gonna donate. I don't know, I don't know what electronic this bag came in, but the, the slogan on it's very intimidating. It's about who you can become. I feel like what I, whatever I bought that came in this, like I should have done so much with. Like this wanted to see the best potential in me. What did I do with it? I relocated my one, two, three, four, five, six USB drives from the top drawer down here into the electronic drawer. I went to school in an era where like, we were just getting over printing off reports and stuff and learning to do things digitally. So we would send in our like reports and essays and stuff via USB stick, very short lived time because after that we realized that the internet exists and we can just like upload our files to, I don't know, like a server or something where teachers can read it. We don't need to hand in USB sticks. I think that's why I have so many. Oh my God, you guys, look what I just found. This is a trip down good old memory lane. My iPod classic that I think I got in grade nine, which would be, I don't know what year, so many years ago. This thing like, I desperately wanna plug this in and see what's on this because this is going to be absolutely amazing to see what music is on this. I think that should be another video. It'd be a copyright disaster, a nightmare, but it'd be so fun to get this running again and see what music is on here because, oh baby. We're the early 2000s for music and me, probably a really hilarious time. I am I'm keeping that one, you cannot convince me otherwise. Okay, check it. So much better. I get excited that I can see the bottom of the drawer. <laughs> this is like an iPhone stabilizer. This is like a replacement um, screen phone screen case. It gets cracks. The printer I'm keeping. The old iPod I am for sure keeping. Headlamp for camping. Gonna keep the ring light just because, I don't know, maybe I'll get it working. And the most exciting part is I can fit my headphones in here and it closes and they are not getting jammed, which makes me so happy. Okay. Every time I close one drawer, I reveal another legitimate disaster. So this one, I actually not too, too long ago was sorted through, which is why stuff is in baggies um, based on like, the type of cord. Um, but since then I've been bad at putting things back in the bags that they came out of, which is why I just need to redo it. But essentially this one was like old cords, <laughs> like TV cables and stuff that you probably wouldn't use that often or like the long extender to my Mac cord, which I don't use. This one was like 
miscellaneous non apple y cords and stuff. Um, and then this one was apple type cords, like lightning adapters and the USB C stuff that they use now. So, this is just a case of taking all this stuff and putting it in the appropriate bags. And then extension cord stuff, I just left out because you want to be able to grab that whenever you need it. So, that's great, but I just got to deal with do a dish and look what is back here again another bag that something came in that i don't need to keep why am i holding on to bags no okay this is looking really good in here um one thing i found that i remember doing this is one of the best things that i've done is take one of these little things i think they came from dollar store these are honestly great you can see what's in them but this one is for travel specifically so it has a phone charger like headphones if you need them any other cords that you might need like when you're on the go before every time i would travel i'd run around the house and like do i have a phone charger do i have headphones like do i have all that and then if i just put them here then just, no grab this and you're good to go very last one which is part two of the really bad drawers and that is um the second tool slash diy supply drawer which is just going to be equally as messy as the first one and i don't think this needs much explaining i'm just going to sort it out the same way i did the first one <laughs> Okay, I honestly, I don't know what was in here before it was taking up so much space. I think just a lot of like empty miscellaneous boxes from stuff. But yeah, this is so much better. We've got like the stud finder, the measuring tape. This is just a big bag of random knobs and stuff that I'm gonna keep for you know, when you will use those. And yeah, it was, it's really not much. I think, you know what, also, there was a lot of, um, of these little paint samples, which I'm gonna transfer all of this stuff downstairs into like the actual big paint cabinet along with like big paint brushes that were in here taking up space so i think that cleared up a lot of space so feeling good which means oh no oh no oh no 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 why is this not closing it's probably something back there which how in the world am i gonna reach it i don't know oh no okay well <laughs> we basically got this all cleaned out and all the drawers are closed and i am feeling good like i should and you know she walk around the neighborhood Okay, that was the worst part by far, so feeling good. So now we should we should tackle this table, which is like the most visual disaster in the house. Um, I am in the process of working on my kitchen, doing a kitchen makeover whole thing. Literally, it's, it's a huge process, but <laughs> a lot of my kitchen things are out here because I didn't want them to get in the mess. I guess I'm, I'm kind of done the worst part of the kitchen, the messiest part, you'll see. So I can put stuff back in the kitchen. That'll help clear this out a lot stuff like my my salt and pepper shaker just chilling out here this little guy oh he's dusty but this little i think it's a zz plant was in the kitchen brought him out here he can go back <laughs> i one of the best christmas gifts ever got a chia pet for christmas i have a bunch of chia seeds for said chia pet out here that i need to grow but those were in the kitchen i guess those can go back too so let me get rid of that stuff And then speaking of plants, um, fun fact, actually really, really sad uh, fact. During the winter sadness I experienced and quarantine and all that going on, there was like a period where I was really, really bad to my house plants and I kind of stopped watering them for a little while. And some of them didn't make it. This is just in all honesty, <laughs> honesty hour here. Some of them didn't make it. And one of my very favorite plants that I owned um, didn't make it. So in like a fit of like, I need to feel better the other week, I out of nowhere decided to order myself a new one. <laughs> um, and it got delivered to my house and it's just been sitting here on the floor because I I didn't I didn't have time to like put it in a pot and all that so this is my new baby it's a monstera a dance and I a dance and I I think is how you say it or a Swiss cheese plant <sighs> I love her I'm so happy to have this back in my life but I really need to put it in a pot and put it somewhere in my house I'm so, I'm such I'm so bad I'm so bad <sighs> This is this is what's really going on, you guys. Okay, so I am just putting her back in the old pot that the first plant of this kind was in. And upon 
investigation I discovered I don't have any potting soil left so I'm just gonna have to wait until I can get some more and hopefully she's okay with staying in her little plastic pot just for a little little bit but just know that the plant before you was beautiful and you have some big shoes to fill okay I promise I'll be better to you than my last one who I miss very dearly okay, carrying on <laughs> Okay, I really, truly, truly did want to get to this closet today, but it's late. Austin got home and I'm tired. I just, <sighs> I want to pick this up another day. I will justify it a little bit by saying it looks a lot worse than it is. Like most of this is just fabric from past DIY projects and paperwork that needs to be filed into the cabinet a little better. So like, I know what the stuff is, but I'm just going to say you're a later project i sorted it enough so that the door closes so that's that's what i really wanted to see let's be honest okay can confirm it's looking so much cleaner in here i have a floor again i i have a tabletop fully empty tabletop that i can use which is great um the only thing that's still like around is this stuff on this bench because it's what i'm using for the kitchen makeover so i kind of need it but hey this bench is clear and for the sitting <laughs> for the taking for the sitting i don't know the only thing left in here that's kind of not where it should be is this big tabletop for the coffee table and I kind of have an idea for it. It might sound wild, but I have a thought. Okay, so I have this, we know, this vintage fireplace in the living room, right? It's electric and it's currently sitting on the floor and it has like a pipe attachment on the top and I actually have an extender piece too that makes it even taller than it currently is, but neither of those pieces are tall enough to go to the ceiling. And I get <laughs> so many comments and questions about like, how does your fireplace work? Like when it, the pipe doesn't go anywhere, where does the smoke go? Why does it not have a top? Like what's wrong? <laughs> and every time I tell them like, it's electric, it doesn't go anywhere because it doesn't produce smoke. But I do agree that maybe visually it looks a little funny because you just want the pipe to go somewhere because it's kind of giving the illusion that it is a real fireplace so I had this thought that like if I were to raise the fireplace and put it on something and use the extra piece of pipe that I have that I could make it in theory touch the ceiling and maybe come across as a little bit more believable as like a real fireplace and I think you know I'm going with this since I have that other coffee table that's not in use currently Maybe we can we can do some magic. So I was on Pinterest looking at some ideas and here are some of the things that I found. I'm gonna pop the pictures up here instead of showing you my phone, but there's this one. I know this one isn't like a closed in fireplace the way mine is, but it still has that same like pedestal vibe that it's up on like a little round table. This one, I feel like would give very similar vibes. The dark fireplace on like a light stone table pedestal. This one also, actually that might be from the same place. I think it is, yeah. Same, same place, but same idea and I think it could look cool. I kind of want to try it. <laughs> wow. Okay. You can't really see much because the fireplace is in the way, but. Wow. Did I need to speak granted for it? Yeah. Actually, it's travertine. Okay, ready? Okay, you all right? Mm-hmm. Do you want a back one? Yeah. So I feel strong enough for this piece? <laughs> it just falls into the basement. <laughs> I mean, it's not gonna tip over once the fireplace is on it, right? It looks pretty good. Does it look silly? It's pretty cool. Okay, now pull the other pipe up. You can do it. <laughs> He's not gonna stay. <laughs> okay, well, uh, okay. <laughs> Wow. You know what? I thought it would look worse. It still looks funny though, right? I mean, it's on a table. <laughs> You wrote that just five minutes ago, right? Yep. I always get asked about the guitars hanging in the room, but who plays them? You. Yeah. Are you 
you're always on my <laughs> my Instagram comments being like, who plays that guitar so well? Whose guitar is that? It's actually Becky's guitar. <laughs> I don't own this one. That one actually is my guitar. Um, Before high school, I think I got that in like grade seven maybe. I don't know. But anyways, I fully realized that this doesn't look like as, as good as it could look. I think the ish is that <laughs> it's got the tiny little pedestal underneath. So like maybe, I think you were even saying this, if it had like some sort of covering around it. Burlap. Oh, no. <laughs> it's like a farmhouse. <laughs> I don't know. Something so you couldn't see how like tiny the base underneath was. Maybe it would look good. And I still need to get, if I want to do that, like, you know the piece I'm talking about? It's like a rectangle that goes in the ceiling. Burlap. No, jury's out, still TBD, gotta work on that, but it's late. I think I did enough today. I'm so glad that that area is clean. We can use the table again and um, cool. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. It's good to be back and see you guys. We'll see you guys. Bye.